Aloha and welcome to Hawaii Vacation News for the week of July 7, 2008. My name is Megan Rozepski and this news is brought to you by Hawaii-Aloha.com. In Hawaii, Hawaii's experts. A key decision Hawaii vacationers often overlook is whether they actually would prefer a condominium to a hotel. Here's the difference between the two. Hotels cost more and offer a higher level of fancy. Elegant lobbies, lush grounds, more than one big pool, shops and restaurants on the premises, maid room, and bell services. But, especially if you plan to bring the family on your Hawaii vacation, condos have a lot to offer. You're going to have more space. If you're traveling with another couple, you can split the cost of a condo. You'll have a kitchen. That means you'll save a bunch of money over restaurant dining and spare the hassle of keeping the kids quiet and entertained during every meal. One thing to keep in mind, while hotel rooms tend to be consistent in their quality, each unit in a condo is individually owned, and one owner's investment, taste, and furnishings are going to be different from another's. Hawaii-Aloha.com agents are very familiar with the condominium inventory and quality on all of the islands. Any of them will be glad to discuss the options with you before you make up your mind. Pick one of our agents at our website, hawaii-aloha.com, or call 1-800-843-8771. Almost unnoticed, the Park Shore Waikiki Hotel occupies arguably the best spot in all of Waikiki. It sits on the beach. It overlooks beautiful Kapiolani Park and Diamond Head. It's an easy walk from the shopping venues and attractions of Waikiki. For 40 years, it has remained under the radar, never mentioned among the stars of the neighborhood such as the Royal Hawaiian, Hyatt Regency, and Moana Surfrider. The 226-room hotel's new owners, Sasada International, have just announced that the property now will be managed by Aqua Hotels and Resorts, and that a major renovation will get underway next year. The plan is to transform the Park Shore into a unique luxury boutique hotel that delivers outstanding guest service. That fits the profile and track record of Aqua, whose inventory includes 13 other boutique properties in Waikiki. A Sasada spokesman noted Aqua's history of converting underperforming properties into boutique hotels that deliver outstanding guest service. If you like the idea of a well-located, service-oriented, smaller hotel with plenty of amenities and relatively reasonable rates, then the Park Shore Waikiki is an excellent choice. For more information, check out our website at hawaii-aloha.com. Let's say you've arrived in Waikiki for a two-week stay. One evening, you meet a couple who just came to Oahu from Kauai. They gush over Kauai's Waimea Canyon, Poipu, the Nepali coast, the Hanalei Valley. Hmm, you think, maybe we can take a couple of days and explore another island. We can check out of our Waikiki hotel early, get on the internet, make new hotel reservations, book an inter-island flight, book a few side tours, then rebook our flight home. Unfortunately, you can't be that spontaneous. A multi-island trip needs to be planned way in advance, and preferably with a travel agent who is based in Hawaii and who knows the islands intimately. We encourage most of our clients to see more than one island, if time and budget allow. We book everything before you leave home and save you a bunch of money at the same time because we package everything. The more in the package, the greater the discount. Here's a friendly warning. If you purchase hotels or airfare online, ad hoc, buying everything a la carte, you could be putting your trip in jeopardy if anything goes wrong. Our agents are on Hawaii time and are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week to help with any problems that may arise. Why not start your planning right now? Call 1-800-843-8771. Visitors to Hawaii seem to love Robert Weiland's work. He's the marine artist and entrepreneur whose paintings and prints are selling like crazy. Local residents, especially the fine artists, who capture Hawaii's essence and beauty, don't seem to love him as much. It's the entrepreneur part of his work they resent. His self-themed Waikiki Hotel opened recently. 
He keeps a penthouse office and apartment there. Last week, he called a news conference that was sort of all over the place. He barely touched on his 100th and final Wailing Wall mural, which will feature 45 by 12 foot canvases painted by children, each representing aquatic life in their homelands. He announced his plan to take over the historic Coco Palms property on Kauai and develop it. He said he wants to create a Hawaii license plate to help raise money to preserve the Turtle Bay area on Oahu, even as he quibbles with the California Coastal Commission over the use of a fundraising plate he designed for them. On July 22nd, he will unveil in China the first of 100 life-size sculptures of sea life he will create. And now for the island weather for this week. Light to moderate trade winds will prevail through most of the week, which will bring a few clouds and a chance of showers, mainly to the mountain areas of the Hawaiian Islands. Overall, rainfall will be limited. It will be hot this week, with highs reaching into the 90s and the lows in the mid-70s. Better bring your sunscreen. There will be lots of sun for you on your Hawaii vacation. That does it for Hawaii Vacation News for this week. Tune in again next week for more news. For back episodes and links, go to our website at hawaii-aloha.com. Until next time, my name is Megan saying aloha and mahalo.